Okay, now it says, show that the sum of the first differences of this pattern can be given by S and the sum of the first differences is 6N squared plus 3N. Well, what we have to do is go look at our triangle. These are called the first differences. So it's 9, 21, 33. We want to find this, that the sum of these, we want to show that it equals 6N squared plus 3N. So we take those first differences and we just, all we need, there they are, 9, 21, 33, they just keep on going. Uh, they, there's a common difference of, between these things of 12 though, but the first term is nine. The common difference, 21 minus nine is 12, and we've got a formula for the sum of this arithmetic series. And it is, it is Sn equals n over two, and then in a bracket times two a plus n minus one times d. And all we do is we put a is nine, d is 12, and we just multiply it out and see what we get. We get 18 there, we get 12n minus 12, 18 minus 12 is six, 12n times n is 12n squared divided by two. There it is, it equals six n squared, and six times n divided by two, six divided by two is three n. And that's what we were supposed to show, that the sum is equal to six n squared plus three n. Now let's just look at this last question. It says, how many consecutive first differences were added to the first term to obtain this big giant number, 21,060? The first term of the quadratic number pattern. Well, the first term is minus 3. And the sum of the first differences is 6n squared plus 3n. So we can make an equation, minus 3 plus this to equal that number. That's the equation that we're going to do. Um, let's just take a look at it. Uh, we've got the first term plus that sum equaling that. Well, you get a mark for that. I put down the marks in the memo the way it works here. We have three. We get that the sum is 21,000. The sum of those first terms is 21,063. But we've got a formula for the sum. It's 6n squared plus 3n. Well, we subtract there. We divide everything by two, um, 3 to make it a little bit easier. And then you can just use the quadratic formula. Now, you don't have to write in the quadratic formula like this. So A is um, 2, uh, B is 1, and C is negative 7,021. But if you put that in the, your calculator in the quadratic formula, with the plus, you get the number 59. And with the um, minus, you get this weird negative 119 over 2. Well, that's not a term. It's got to be an integer to be a term. So n must be 59. You don't actually get marked on all this stuff. So I did the question myself. And all I did is I went, OK, the first term of the quadratic sequence plus the sum equals the number. And then I just put by the quadratic formula. And I got two answers, and the answer that makes sense is 59. So instead of doing all of this, look where the marks came from. So I would get a mark for the first thing, the first equation, you know, pretty well right there. And then I'd get a, uh, a mark for standard form, and then for the equation, the first equation itself, and then one for the answer. So you don't have to do all of the stuff in the memo. Um, this is what you get the marks for. When you see the little ticks when you look in the memo, you can see that. Okay, well, that's it for the sequences and series part of the November 20 exam. Okay.